We honor praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Achakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who only teach well. Peace of salutation to the elect 144 first fruit. I'm just going to play this video on CNN real quick, see if it runs. I need a vehicle. Soft. Ready? After this ad. Yeah. Yeah. streaming exclusively on Max. New video of Ukraine striking deep inside Russia, annihilating a key supply bridge in Russia's Kursk region. You see the blast there. Russia says Ukraine likely used U.S.-made HIMARS rockets in this attack, potentially the first time such rockets have been used to hit inside the Kursk region. Let's discuss now with retired U.S. Army Lieutenant General Mark Kirtling. Always good to have you on, sir. Thanks for joining. Well, Great to be with you, Jim. Great afternoon for you. Let, let's start on this attack, uh, and I do... Or anywho, before these weirdos start talking, <laughs> I don't feel like sitting here making y'all bear that, but as you saw in that video, they struck a um, a bridge, you can see. So they're saying they're striking deep inside Russia. This type of shit doesn't necessarily... Um, doesn't necessarily you know, strike me any type of way, um, just due to the fact of what the scriptures say, you know, at the end of the day, what is Russia, what is China, what is North Korea, what are these countries, they're the kings of the east, all right, so that brings me to, <clears throat> that bring, brings me to uh, Revelation, the 16th chapter, verse 12, it says, and the sixth angel poured out his vial upon the great river Euphrates, and the water thereof was dried up, that the way of the kings of the east might be prepared. So I don't give a damn what news article comes out and says, oh, Ukraine is, is fighting back, and they're, they're getting deeper into Russia, and, you know, they're holding their ground. They're not going to hold their ground for long. Russia is going to ultimately... What we I know there's a brother in our camp loves to go into that history of uh World War II, um, speaking about the Germans and, and they had a tactic called Blitzkrieg, or that's where you get the word blitz in football from, where they just attack everybody all in one force and it's overwhelming. Russia's gonna end up doing that. What you can say right now, Russia is taking it easy on um, Russia's taking it easy on uh, Ukraine. Why are they taking it easy? It's not necessarily a war to Russia. It's a military movement. It's a military movement, meaning they're trying to, in a say, preserve some of that area. And why are they trying to do that? Because that land is theirs. Because that land is theirs. Okay, so prime example, <clears throat> if you're a farmer and it's time to burn your land, are you going to just get some TNT and bomb that shit? No. <laughs> and, and create craters and divots in your land? No, you're going to systematically burn it to where it can still reproduce and grow back again. That's what Russia is doing with Ukraine because Ukraine has only been a country since 1991. It's only as real, real shit. It's only, matter of fact, I'll pull up the facts, you know. Ukraine, Ukraine is, um, <laughs> Ukraine is Russian territory. It just broke off from Russia. Uh, let me see if, um, I just want to. See, Ukraine established. Shit, I'm as old as Ukraine. <laughs> August 24th, which is about to hit its uh, anniversary here soon. Ukraine is 33 years old. August 24th, 1991. Okay. August 24th, 1991 is when Ukraine was established. It was ultimately... Um, really in a sense taken away 
you know, it was a part of the Soviet Union and it broke off. So really all Russia, all this uh, Russia Ukrainian war is, is Russia taking back what it's, what's theirs. It shouldn't even fucking be a war. It should just be like, okay, give it back. I never gave it away in the first fucking place. You know what I'm saying? So all these Ukrainians who are, oh, I'm Ukrainian. No, you're fucking not. You're Russian. You're Soviet. You're not Ukrainian. That's some fake shit you made up. Just like the fake crap they made up on uh, in 1948 with the Balfour de Declaration. You're not really that. You know? So you're not really a Ukrainian. You're a Russian. You know, you're really fighting a pointless war because you will get um, engulfed by Russia. That will happen. They're really playing it easy on your asses. You know, but you know, you got CNN, who of course is all for Ukraine, and they're going to say one thing and another, you know, because technically U.S. is backing Ukraine, you know, <clears throat> so simple, but really, if you get down to the nitty gritty, Ukraine's probably over there getting their ass kicked, and actually not probably, when you go in deep in your researches and look up some true articles, Ukraine's getting their ass kicked right now. All right. And they're the only way they're staying afloat is by getting aid from America. So this is an indirect war between Russia and America right now. If America would get their ass out of uh, their business, Ukraine would have been taken over by now. It would have took probably a year to take Ukraine over. But this is has, has elongated. OK, this has elongated to the process that we're what how, how, how long has this war been going on? It's about to be like three years. I mean, shit, Russia and Ukraine been going at it since for a long time, but I'm trying to figure out. Yeah, February to, February 24th, 2022. So this has been going on for two years so far. This is going to mark its third year next February, which I can see us going into the next year at this point. Um, you know, so Russia is just they're taking it easy on Ukraine because they don't want to destroy land that's theirs. We're really, ultimately, they, Russia can take this fucking country off the face of the earth. But why would you want to do that to your to something that is yours? Something that, that's matter, matter of fact. Let me get that in uh, Wisdom of Solomon, uh, the first chapter, because it's the same thing. It's the same kind of sediment that the Lord has. Uh, Ecclesia, I mean, Wisdom of Solomon one and thirteen. It says, "For God made not death." Neither hath he pleasure in the destruction of the living. He created the living, so why would he want to destroy it? Yes, he's a power that loves judgment. And if the judgment comes down to you being destroyed, it's justified. But why would he just want to destroy the living that's just living the way that he wants them to live? Why would he do that? So why would Russia want to destroy something that was once a part of them and now that they want to acquire back? And if Ukraine was fucking smart, they would go back to Russia. They would be better off being Russians than Ukrainians. Okay? They would be better off. All right? Russia is gaining a lot of allies. And most of their allies are in the top five or top ten of oil producing countries. So that's money. And they're and, and they and Ukraine would be smart to go back to Russia. Because they're going to see that Russia, China, the BRICS nations are bringing down the petrol dollar. And their ally who, who backs them, America, is going to be fucking limping here in a second. All right. But this is how this is the way the cookies are crumbling. So I don't care what these um, CNN news articles say that you, uh, Ukraine is making advances. It's war. It goes back and forth. It is what it is. But Russia is taking it easy on them. All right. And at the end of the day, Russia's prophecy is to infiltrate into the Middle East, which means they have to pass through Ukraine. So they're going to engulf Ukraine and take that state back and ultimately go into the Middle East. All right. Simple. If you look at a world map, Ukraine is in the way.
world map. Let's go to images. <laughs> Ukraine is all the way in the way. Okay. We zoom in. And you see Russia right here and Ukraine is right here. Well, the kings of the east all over here got to come all right here. So Russia is going to have to engulf all of that just to come right here. All right. So let's finish Revelation 16. <clears throat> Revelation 16 and 10. Uh, no, 16 and 12. It says, And the sixth angel poured out his veil upon the great Euphra river Euphrates, and the water thereof was dried up, that the way of the kings of the east might be prepared. Right. And currently they are preparing. They're allying, allying with one another to ultimately make war against the whore and the beast. Okay. So that's what we see playing out. So uh, that's all I have for now for just for a little bit of prophecy. I want to give all glory on and praises to you. Howl by Shimi Howl Shai by Shemachak Um Double honors to the apostles and elders, great millstone of wound. Teach well. Peace of salutation to the elect 144 first fruit. Till the next time, like always, Shalom and repent for Yahweh Shai is coming back sooner than what me and you believed. All right, Shalom.